Hey everybody, what's up? It's Jasmine. Welcome back to another lunchtime reaction video. It's been a little while, but you know, that's that's how things are. I've got raspberries with me today, and we are going to be watching a video from The Rewired Soul. And then we're going to be talking a little bit about The Rewired Soul's latest videos. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll just watch it and then we'll get into the talkingness because I think it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired hey, Soul. Hey, Chris. We'll talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And Do that's we, right. There is some exciting new content coming right here to The Rewired Soul. Woo! So recently, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I, we've been getting a little nostalgic watching old, you know, shows and movies and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I, I know a lot of you as well as myself, I was kind of raised by TV and movies. In my situation in particular, you know, I had an alcoholic mom, I had mm -hmm. a dad who was constantly working, and I was kind of raised by the TV, right? And I learned a lot about life from TV and movies. Like when it comes to just life lessons, when it comes to friendships, when it comes to relationships and love, and all those things. And as I got older, I kind of looked back and I, I look at that. I'm like, were these things healthy that I was learning or were they unhealthy, right? And now re-watching some of these shows as an adult, I have a different perspective. And I look back and see, you know, what can we take from this? So I'm sitting there, I'm like, hmm, I'm watching these already. What if, what if I was able to pull mental health topics from classic TV shows? Right. Wow, wouldn't that so just be magical? Here is what I'm going to do. All right, so Tristan and I have been working on a whole list of TV shows. And what I want you to do down in the comments, I'm, I'm going to put a list in the pinned comments, but feel free to add in. Like, we're going to be talking about things like The Office, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Supernatural, Friends, Three's Company. Uh, I was thinking uh, Cheers, The Twilight Zone, things like Full House, Family Matters, Parks and Recreation. All right? And, and, you think I'm going to stop there? Do you think I'm going to stop there? Heck no, because I love me some cartoons, too. So I'm talking about Doug. Remember All Real Monsters? Ren and Stimpy? Shows like that? Like, how fun is that going to be? And see what mental health topics we can pull mm -hmm. from those. So not only are we going to do a little blast to the past and get a little nostalgic together, but we're going to see what mental health topics we can pull. So it'll be a fun situation. I absolutely love it. And like I said, like, I know a lot of you, like, you have old TV shows that you love and everything like that. So if you have any ideas for topics or TV shows or specific episodes or anything, let me know down in the comments. I am working on a list, and I am so, so, so excited. Now, for anybody else who might have a problem with that, let me pass this over to my man, Ben Affleck. Okay, they're talking about fictional characters. Fictional characters. Am I, am I getting through to you at all? But anyways, everybody, that's the announcement I wanted to make. I'm super excited. No, this does not mean I'm not doing any other content on, like, you know, current events or things in pop culture or anything like that. But I just think this is going to be really fun and a new type of content to do here on the channel, all right? So don't forget to leave your comments down below. And I will see you all very, very soon. Ooh, okay, so the video is pretty straightforward. He's moving his content from, I don't really know what it was before, but uh, it used to be a drama channel, and then he's kind of moved on to sort of focusing more on, like, mental health in a way that he's not talking about YouTubers, but it's all been a bit uh, confused since the big fallout from his... I don't even fully know what happened with all the stuff. But anyway, um, so he's going to be doing, I guess, kind of like in-depth reviews of uh, child TV shows and talking about the psychology that is in the shows and what it might teach you and stuff like that. And I think that a lot of people would be interested in that idea, but... I don't think that it's anything new because, um, you know, when you're in school and you have to write an essay on a book or a TV show or a movie and you, you have to talk about the symbolism and things like that and like what's the hidden meaning and all that, like that's j basically just what it is. Um, you know, there are meanings and everything 
I mean, one person underneath this video, they wrote, you know, could you talk about Winnie the Pooh and how, like, each character has a mental illness, like, Eeyore has depression and Tigger has ADHD, and it's like, you, you know, that, like, that just shows that everybody knows that, you know, like, everybody understands that TV shows have hidden messages behind it that aren't even, you know, really that hidden, they're just like, you know, uh, telling you stuff about the world, um, and, um, so I don't think that it's really anything new, and I think that there's a lot of people that already do that, um, who go in depth into TV shows and movies and all that sort of thing, and I, you know, especially on YouTube, because, you know, there's a lot of people that have time on their hands to do that sort of thing and to do it well, whereas Chris, he does, like, two videos a day, you know, he doesn't even really have, like, I don't understand how he can put out two videos a day and for them to be good quality because, like, how's he researching this? I mean, I don't know, like, where does he get the time of day to do all that work? Um, and I think that he doesn't have the time of day and that he's putting things out that aren't necessarily the best quality, you know, and I think that that's why I would sort of recommend looking at other YouTubers that are doing this sort of thing already um, and who are spending, you know, a week, you know, months to put together a really well thought out video on a TV show that you might be interested in. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of like my overview of it and I think that it's already shown in his latest videos because he did two videos already on this topic um, looking at TV shows that he used to watch uh, like The Office and uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the first one was The Office and that got 1.8 thousand views um, but then when he did the one on Buffy the Vampire Slayer it only got 944 views and then he moved on to talking about Billie Eilish and baby goth as industry plants and then he made another video about my public apology to Gabby Hanna and it's kind of like um, everything's hopping all over the place again so I, I kind of think that he'll drop this really quickly just because it's not going to get all that many views because it's not a super original topic and there are people that have the time that aren't going to put two videos out a day who are going to instead invest their time in researching uh, these TV shows and researching the characters and things like that and then putting together a really lovely video. So I, yeah, I just think that, um, I think that he needs to take like a proper break and um, not even think about YouTube because I think that he's got his brain stuck on YouTube but if he wants to talk about mental health I think he needs to get his brain onto mental health and then if that goes into YouTube then he can go there but I think that he's got his priorities mixed up so yeah that's my opinion and that's gonna be it for me today guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm off to school tonight oh no um and yeah it's gonna be a pretty long day yeah anyway catch you all next time hey doll.